Chinese Tan Anjing Jelly and I'm now doing a presentation for the marketing plan for my program Masters of Entrepreneurship and Innovation. So my organization is called Will You. Will You is a non-profit organization that caters to the homeless people in Malaysia. So we are specifically wanting to empower the homeless people and also to give them all the needs that they need and also want to give them services such as our programs that we have and also um, other kind of services that they are expected to have and also we feel acceptable. So um, firstly that we have talked about being um, uh, providing them a temporary home address and also we want to provide them gaining access to employment and also we want to give them um, medical care and also the mental well-being care and we want also to develop personal growth because when you are down on the streets and you actually lose motivation to live sometimes so as a person from there we want them to have the understanding of their personality and themselves so that they can grow up uh, grow to be a better person so one another objective is we want to build an app that um, actually engages with external parties between employees and employers that which will be further elaborated further on so our marketing plan consists I will talk on the products and also the um, promoting methods that we've been using so these are the programs and, and services that we'll be providing which is the products of you the first one will be from the streets to my home it's a program which is three months and we are giving them the tools and also skills that prevents them from going back to the streets so it's a structured program that we intend to look after their physical health and also well-being mental well-being is expected so we'll give them um, a lot of technical training and also um, technical and also practical training so we want to conduct uh, preliminary checks just to be on the safe side that they don't have they are actually getting in this program because they need it and also that if they have certain problems such as drug abuse or um, drug, like drug abuse for example then we will actually have to notify proper authorities to about it actually so and also, we want to talk about Will You Credit Program. Will You Credit Program is uh, related to the Will You app that which you later I mentioned. So, Will You app is our uh, Will you Credit Program is an internal reward system within a facility for people to go check in and then they gain points and then they, the points can be converted to uh, rewards. So, and another one that we want to talk about is um, collaboration with Yellow House KL. Yellow House KL is an organi non-profit organization that um, supports the homeless people by giving them employment as a tour guide. So they are going on unseen tours where they take backpackers to travel around um, KL Central itself and explain all the mo monumental buildings that's around and the culture of M KL specifically and also Malaysia. So, uh, they're currently hiring around five people on hand right now and we hope that we can um, expand their um, diverse, diversity in terms of location and we will next we'll talk about the soft skill training which is also part of the training um, the, from my the from the streets to my home program so from the streets to my home program we also the participant will also attend to this um, trainings itself so as mentioned that we go for three skills here there are many more that will be included if there is a need to or also demands depends on the demand and the next one I will talk about is the homeless care kit one of our key products is to provide the simple necessities for the people on the street to be decent to have oral hygiene to have hydration to give them some um, to take them their feminine um, well care and also to give them some directions too so as mentioned earlier that we'll be using the Will You app we'll bring the Will You app as a marketing and promoting tool for us so um, 
in terms of um, generating income first, we will talk. We will be inviting on other organizations to advertise on our platform to generate a certain income for us through their ads. So, um, for every login, they will pay a certain amount. They will give us a commission. And the next um, service of this platform is to be a part-time jobs and task basis um, platform. So it's like Job Street, but um, Job Street is catered for full employment. We want to cater to part-time employees only, and also commission basis. So in here we have um, a progressive report where you can um, see what the progressive results and they, what, where they are going for. And the next part I want to talk about is the employers that who's going to be doing this. So they you can actually hire part-time workers such as cleaners or drivers through the app as well. So this actually gives a one stop for those odd jobs people that wants to do this. So um, the employees can have a, have a look at it and the employees has a look at app can have a look at it with their different type of users that they can choose. So for internal for internal use we will be doing the tracking of the credit rewards and also uh, we want to be to give the registration if you please so anyone can register with the programs and our services itself because and also we can create a profile for them directly instead of doing a uh, password or paperwork and because um, some due to some lack of um, identification we'll use um, the fingerprint as an ID temporarily. Identified that um, Willy has only one uh, competitor, which is the Anjung Singa Kuala Lumpur, which is the only current set up uh, non profit organization that targets on the homeless people needs. So um, they are actually temporary shelters for homeless people in the urban areas specifically. So there are five locations now actually currently in Malaysia. So it's the main branch is located in Kuala Lumpur and the main thing about them is that they limit the stay for two weeks only, whereas our programs is up to three weeks. We could closely monitor. So, um, uh, we want to look at the market analysis. So, the lowest current rates for uh, wages per household is RM. Um, per, per household is around 800 ringgit. However, the minimum wages now is increased by 50 ringgit. Uh, that so if there's an increase in minimum wages, there is a de decrease in demand of employment. So that means there is a possibility of higher um, layoff rates, and also there's um. So that means if there's higher layoff rates, that means that more people be prone to go to the streets, and because they are off, whether they are unable to afford the rent, or also because they are second employment from the employment. Yes, we understand there are safety nets involved such as EPF software and EFS, but there are just a certain limit that they can do for you. So on the streets right now, we have 600 homeless people in KL, according to the statistics of DBKL in 2016. So we have estimated that there is a 15% increase in homeless people next year, and also specifically 10% increase in youth homeless people. We have narrowed down it is due to all these homeless people is narrowed down due to high urban cost of living specifically. So now we'll take a look on the PEST analysis for the environmental analysis. So the environmental analysis we'll talk about the political side first. Political side is um on the destitute persons act. So the per the definition of destitute persons is very problematic as it is too broad and there's too many people that's under the coverage. So we are tending we other the coverage, other than that, um officials has the tendency to send has the power to send any destitute person to welfare homes without trial, without knowing what they are, so they can just grab and go as they please. So if a person is sent to that earth, they have to send to stay at the welfare home for three years unless or they are commit with an offence under the Act with the imprisonment of three months. 
and also the DPA actually violated several statutes of the Federal Constitution Act. One of them is that local officials can just pick up a person and just snap them to the welfare or welfare homes. So one of the threats is that local officials might be able to come to view your operation location and then disrupt the normal flow of business and also disturb the privacy of our people. Next is the economy of all. So if the economy goes on a bad side, so the government might and other corporations might need to restructure their budgets accordingly. So that means if there is diminution in profits that means there's also budget cuts and also cuts in funding. So uh, most of our programs are dependent on funding itself. If it happens then you might need to cut out on some technical programs. So next we took a look on social side. So since there is um, the bad economy there then the result could also lead to the increase of people on the streets. So there is a possibility that we might not be able to cater to all people. And so going back to the technological side is the ability to share data with state department. So due to the sensitivity of our um, information that we have, we collected through our data, through our app, and we analyze that it is not wise to share with state of department, state welfare department, because they themselves have their own conduct of, um, of their studies as well. So next we took at continuum analysis. So consumer analysis, we did that on four, make four areas, which is the main primary one is the homeless people on the streets. Then we want to look at municipal councils where we build a plug and play model for them. That means we create for them a program that it's available to be transferred to anywhere, any locations, and also to gain funding from them or maybe a land. And next we'll talk about the members to of the public is to receive uh, volunteers and also contribution and sponsorship to fund our programs to run and also to journalists to increase the awareness among the general public about homelessness. So looking at the SWOT analysis, we have four areas. So we'll talk about the solutions that we can actually provide to those areas. So the first one will be the weakness. We have a small volunteer base. So the solution is to reach out a bigger range of uh, demographics and also we need to prepare for a crisis plan. So an outline for people to follow. So next the opportunity is to develop partnership with other local non-government agencies. So we only should compile a list that they could possibly collaborate with us on certain programs or even sharing of resources. That means combining classes or giving out and um, sharing um, contacts is very good. So if and then um, we want to look at the commitment as the volunteers and employees. So we need to recognize by giving them that back feedback. For example, whether they're doing good in their job or they're not doing so well and which areas they need to improve. So the next is the threat part where we face the difficulty in measuring what are the impacts that's going going on with society. So we need to sit down and use the data collected from um, the real real app and then um, use several sensible variables that it's easy for us to measure and also understand the subject better. Then looking at the bad economy, so we have to cut out on events that are not performing well and also work with lower cost materials. Next, so we have priced that our homeless health care is 1,000 units per month, so it's around 10,000 ringgit. And also, we have to proceed that um, the, from the streets to my home program, which costs 10,000, so that means 2,000 per person itself. But we have priced a 33% markup to make it 3,000 ringgit. So, and after that, we need to break even with 133. 135 people to in order to break even our costs. So in terms of market share, we did for the first few years we just grab a medium level of market shares. So we are also determined that our surplus might increase, uh, might 
be high for the first year, two years and then decrease accordingly the next few years. Thank you very much and have a nice day.